spoke. Now, it's been raining all night and all this morning, and this wood is soaking wet. But when you bust it and get down in here to the middle, then, as y'all know, you can find some dry stuff. So what I'm doing is cutting off this outside edge. Of course, I'll burn it later, but I'm just cutting off this outside edge to get rid of the moisture. Uh, this act, this little hatchet, I got it the other day. And it's got a real heavy head, which I don't really care for ha hatchets. Uh, but this thing's got a heavy head, almost like a camp axe, and it's on a hatchet hickory uh, handle. And I really like it. I got it sharp. And I mean, you see my hand right there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I just barely touched it right there with the... And uh, see if you can see that. But we got a... We got a good medicine out here. Uh, and it's just, you can take pine sap and you can take and rub that pine sap on it. And that kind of acts like a glue and an antiseptic, if you will. And uh, it'll keep it from getting infected. and uh, stop the bleeding. Kind of like nature's band-aid, if you will. Uh, already looks better, don't <clears throat> But I'm gonna bust up a little bit of this drier portion of this wood to use when I build my fire here. But, uh, now this part here gets right down into the center. Look, there's some, look at that dust in there. I mean, it's really dry there on the inside, which is what you want. And then I don't like to let it touch the ground after I start processing it uh, because that ground's just plumb wet. But man, I'll tell you, that wood right there is hard, hard, hard wood. That locust. Good wood. Burns hot. Now here to get your campfire going pretty good. In a pretty big hurry. And when you got an axe this sharp, I really advise you young folks to get out and learn this axemanship and uh, learn how to be careful with it. Because now I tell you, It'll, uh, it'll be good to you when you need it. So what I do, folks, can you see how small that is? When it's rainy out here and damp, uh, you want to process this inside stuff kind of small. Uh, that way it That way it gives you some good stuff for it to get caught up on. Uh, Cause there's a lot of people struggle with making the fire. And uh, one of the reasons is, is they, they don't process their stuff down small. Uh, and so I, when I did that video on, on practicing in damp weather, I'd use some big sticks because I wanted to show another way. And you know, whenever you're building a fire, you don't want to you don't want to start out with that stuff like that. I, like I said, we do some videos sometimes just to show what we're talking about. But you want to get your stuff small, and because uh, you got to get something for that fire to get started on and build on. And uh, now these little little twigs I got off of these pine trees, of course, they got natural pine sap in them, so they burn a little better anyway. But they're wet from all this rain. So we're going to try to put together one, even though this all this old damp, wet stuff. And uh, I hope you enjoy it.
Folks, if we take all these little bitty pieces like this, we want to break those first, if we can. That'll give that something, fire something to feed on with these little ones. Like I said, these are wet. You can see, they usually just snap and break, but they're so wet that uh, we're breaking these into stages. You got the real little bitty ones, then you got the just a higher bigger. And then what I've got, I've got one of these cardboard wick things that I was telling you about that I make. And I was gonna see if I, I see if you can see that right there. I guess you can. I'll slide it right out here. Maybe we can see it a little better. I'm gonna set it in there. Uh, let's see if we can get it to strike. That's pretty easy, huh? Then you just turn it upside down like that and let it burn until it gets down to the bottom of that wick and it starts getting that wax on that cardboard uh, burning. Then what you can do is you can just leave it setting up. Can you see that? Yeah, I think you can. Yeah. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to lay this bigger stick back here. Just something to have me to prop up on. And I'm going to start putting this little stuff around it. So it can dry it out. And catch it up going, see? These little bitty pieces, see this? I'm going to put them around it. Remember, this is pine. Okay, these little pieces like this, see it, See the black smoke? That's, that's that pine coming out of it, see? And where it's wet too, man. You see a lot of people really struggling with fires because it's wet. And you know it's, uh, you ain't always got these little gadgets with you. But what I like to show is, by George, can you see that fire already? And uh, it ain't been no time. It's, it dries it out pretty quick, you see. And I ain't put none of this. I processed this locust on there yet. I got it all right here. This is just that pine limbs that I broke off. And like I said, they're wet. But that candle gets so hot, see, that wax candle gets so hot, uh, even when it's wet, it'll, it'll dry it out pretty quick. But like I said, you got to start with these little bitty pieces. I like to show this to the little youngsters because I tell you, they they want to get a fire so bad and they struggle sometimes. And uh, you know, all of us can that's been doing this a while can go out there and we can cut some wood and bust it, get down to the middle, dry like I was showing you with that locust. We can get a fire pretty easy. Well, when they're starting off, they just don't. They don't realize that yet, you know, so I like to show stuff like this that's doable for them at, to start off with. And uh, then that way they have a little bit of a success and and uh, maybe it'll keep them in the game for a while till they start learning some more of this stuff. Then once that gets to going good, I'll start putting these little pieces that I processed out from the middle. Now, I can tell you when this locust gets a going, now she'll go. Now I'll tell you something else too, you know, you can take and do feather sticks. And, uh, but now you see how that's taking off? And it's just a matter of uh, being patient. Don't have to be in no hurry. This ain't a race out here. See, now your candle down there 
it's kicking it pretty good now. So it ain't gonna be but just a few minutes, then you'll have a pretty good fire. Now, here's the thing. Uh, you know, you ain't always got a striker. You ain't always got a uh, steel rod. Uh, but you can do the same thing with the bow drill. You just got to get out and find the, the dry tinder. And it's out here. You know, you get under, you take under uh, uh, places where it's got a lot of cover. And you might find an old tree that's uh, fell over and it's off the ground under the bark there so you can take a piece of bark off and there may be some dry tender under it or underneath the log where the stump starts there may be some old dry leaves and stuff so if you look around the point I'm trying to make is if you look around a little bit you can find tender it just takes you a little bit but you see there there that locust I really like locust that's a piece that had fell down and I'd gathered probably four or five months ago and laid it up there, you know. And uh, locust gets really hot. Once you get a little fire going, stick that locust on there. Now it'll get it done. It's kind of damp this morning. I got to tell you, that fire feels pretty good on my knees. But now, I, I want to say something else, folks. I've got all, I've done got a fire started. And it's burning pretty good. You see that. Uh, so it's burning pretty good, and I got all this left over. Well, you know what I do is I'll take it. Uh, I put it up, maybe under my shelter, and uh, and I might might need it another day when I come down here. So I uh, I'll take it and just lay it back here in the back somewhere. And uh, put it up. <coughs> you know what, folks? I just thought of something. I need to hurry. I'm off today. So you know what I'm going to do? That, that thing weighs pretty good. I think it's nap time. Catch y'all later when I wake up.